Hello, my loves. Welcome to your love reading for Cancer, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus signs. I hope all my Cancer babies are safe, happy, healthy, and doing well. Special shout out to my good friend Kimberly. Um, she has her own crystal shop. The link for the website is below. Guys, don't forget to like, share, comment, and subscribe. Um, I do a huge giveaway every single month. I give away tarot cards, oracle cards, palo santo, sage, jewelry, um, runes, crystals, bibles, self-help books. It's a lot of fun. And I also do a $250 giveaway every single month. Okay. So um, all the details for the giveaway will, uh, will be in the description box below. Be sure to click that notification bell because, um, you know, you don't want to win and then miss the shout out announcement. OK, um, and that will also notify you every single time I post uh, a video up here. All right. So let's get started here. Holy Spirit, angel spirits and guides, clarity, guidance, love messages for my cancers, please. Clarity, guidance and love messages. For my cancers, please, Holy Spirit. Clarity, guidance, love messages for my cancers, please. Seven of Wands. And the Chariot, Cancerian Energy. Ooh. The Knight of Cups, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces Energy. And the Three of Swords. The Three of Pentacles and the Devil, Capricorn Energy. So, Cancer, keep in mind that these um, these readings can be vice versa. Okay, so it can be you dealing that's you know dealing with the pro. You could be the problem child here, or your person could be the problem child. Okay, so you know take it as it resonates. But I'm feeling here that you know you had issues with this person. There were blockages, like real blockages. Now, this could have been people. It could have been problems. It could have been situations. It could have been distance. I don't know. But there was there was major blockages here. Um, but I feel like this person has chosen to just release themselves from that. They've chosen to release themselves from that. Now, um, it could be, you know, a third party that they have chosen to release themselves from. You know, I don't know. Um, could be a person, could be a, you know, a certain friend that like, you know, likes to destroy their relationships or a toxic family member. I don't know, you know, but I do know that this person knows that they hurt you or you know that you hurt someone. I don't know, Cancer. Take it as it resonates, okay? So they know they hurt you, Cancer. And they're coming in. They're coming with that cup. They're coming to apologize. And I feel that with the devil and the three of pentacles, I feel like this person maybe they know that they have some bad habits. They know they do. And I feel that this person is coming in telling you, Cancer, that either they want to go seek help for these bad habits or they really want to help. They want help with working on this <laughs> Capricorn energy. Do you see what I'm saying? Because the Three of Pentacles is a card of, um, you know, putting work into something and getting that success, right? Wanting to uh, achieve something, you know, and with that Devil card, it could mean that this person is chained to all the wrong things and that's why they're not able to succeed in their relationships. And that's why this person, you know, may be coming to you saying, listen, do you think you can help me? You know, do you think you can forgive me again and show me how, you know, how to act right? Because this person apparently doesn't know how to act. <laughs> Spirit, what clarity and guidance, what love messages do we have here? We have the Six of Pentacles. And the Ace of Wands. The Ten of Swords. And the Page of Cups, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces, Energy. We have Temperance, Sagittarian, Energy. And the King of Pentacles, Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo, Energy. Cancer, I feel like this is an energy of someone that's cut yet. Yeah, I, I feel like this person, 
it's not just judgment they want a second chance, right? I feel like this person is looking at themselves and passing judgment. Like, you know, like this isn't okay anymore. I don't want to do this anymore. I feel like this person has come to realize that in their relationships, they were never able to fully give to one particular connection because any time they, they, they just focused on the passion, they focused on the lust and let's say they're in a relationship, right? They're focused, they're there for the lust, they're there for the passion. And then as soon as someone else walks by that looks tasty, they're off to the next one, right? So I, I feel that this person has never actually invested in a connection before. And, you know, you're over here trying to offer your little cup and, you know what I'm saying? Like, hey, you know, do you want to go do something here? And I feel like this person just destroyed you. With the Three of Swords and the Ten of Swords, this person has betrayed you maybe not once but multiple times. Um, maybe not once but multiple times. This person may be coming in with an apology um, and you deserve it. Cancer, you deserve this apology. I feel that with Temperance and the King of Pentacles, someone is like, you know what, listen, Cancer, I want to settle down. I'm, I'm getting tired. Like, I know I have a problem. I, I know I have a pro. Like, I, I you know, it, it, I'm, I'm like addicted to sex or addicted to the conquest or addicted to whatever. You know what I'm saying? Or maybe someone here is even looking at themselves and saying, listen, the reason why I act this way, the reason why I jump from one person to another is because I fear intimacy. You know, I have a lot of, I'm chained to my demons. I'm chained to, you know, past hurts and past mistakes and the people that have hurt me. So I feel like this person may even end up in counseling or therapy possibly, or be turning to a friend or a family member that's going to help walk them through this. But ultimately this person wants peace. They're growing up. This is a sense of growing up. Okay. Um, I feel that with temperance and the king of pentacles, this person just, you know, they want to settle down. They want something stable. The Fool, Aries Energy, and the Wheel of Fortune. The Eight of Pentacles, and the Ten of Wands. The Star, Aquarian Energy, and the Five of Cups. So, you know, Cancer, i got to be honest with you. You're dealing with someone here who is growing up, okay? I feel like you have left this person out in the cold. I don't think you're talking to this person, all right? Um, and with the Sun card, it's like this person is realizing here that they lose a lot. You know what I'm saying? That They don't realize it, but, you know... By continuously walking away from people with the Moon card, the Four of Pentacles, the Eight of Cups, by continuously, like not showing emotion, not giving to connections, being emotionally disconnected, having multiple sexual partners, the lovers, the three of cups, the eight of wands, talking to a lot of people, having multiple sexual partners, causing a lot of chaos here. We've got jealousy, strife, fighting, knight of wands energy. Everyone is fighting because they want to be with this person. It's like a walking circus. Mm -mm. This person is realizing here, Okay, that they make that this person is realizing that they are a uh, oh God, what's the word I'm looking for? They are something of their they're a repercussion of their own actions or a consequence of their own actions. They're realizing, you know, if you make your bed, you got to lie in it. You know, good news is, though, if you make your bed nice and perfect and, you know, you use the, the, the softener and everything, you're going <clears> to <throat> go to bed in a nice, soft, comfortable, smelly, good bed. Right. So. This person is realizing that it's their decisions. You know, they can make decisions and take a leap of faith for the better, or they can make decisions and take risks that are going to hurt them. Ultimately, you know, destiny is in your hands. The divine can try to guide you, you know, but ultimately you have free will. So with the Fool card and the Wheel of Fortune, I feel that this person's like, well... One thing I know here is that if I do good, no matter what, no matter what, good will eventually come back to me, even if it's not in the way that I expect. If I put hard work into this with the Ten of Wands and the Eight of Pentacles, if I put hard work into this with the Star card here, I'll get what I want. 
okay? I'll get what I want. And I feel like this person is in this energy of, you know, I can either make decisions where I'll have regret with the Five of Cups, or I can make decisions where, you know, I, I get what I want. I get that star card. I get wish fulfillment. Um, another thing I'm feeling here is that this person is afraid of missing that opportunity. They're, they're afraid of eventually regretting not putting in the work in. This person's also afraid of one day asking themselves, you know, what if I would have tried a little bit harder? Queen of Cups, there you are, Cancerian energy. And the Knight of Wands, Leo, Sag, Aries energy. The Eight of Cups. And the Three of Wands. The Strength card, Leo energy. And the Seven of Swords. Cancer, I feel like you have truly gone cold on this person. You have truly, truly, truly cut that energetic cord. Okay? I feel like maybe there was a point in time where this person had power over you. They knew how to talk to you. They knew how to woo you. They knew how to kind of mold you or get you back into their good graces or whatever, right? But that is a thing of the past, okay? Now you know what you want. You're not getting the emotional fulfillment here, okay? Um, and I feel like you're holding your ground, okay? You're holding your ground, and I feel like this person, you know, because you're holding your ground, they're realizing that they can't just sneak in and, and you know, play the games that they used to play, number one. And number two, I feel like you're holding your ground because this person needs to learn how to control themselves. Strength card in the Seven of Swords. Uh, you cannot control yourself. Do you understand? When it comes down to anything, any type of trifling, deceptive behavior, it's like this person doesn't know how to act, and then it's crazy because they regret it. See, they see. we were talking about decisions here, and look at this. With the Five of Cups and the Seven of Swords, like they make stupid decisions that they regret. But if they made the right decisions here, Strength and Star, they would, you know, have more of what they actually want. Like they would have a stronger foundation in life. But, you know, I don't know. This is... Spirit, what clarity and guidance, what love messages do we have here for my cancers, please? So we have the Seven of Wands and the Emperor, Aries Taurus energy, the Chariot, and the Eight of Pentacles. So whereas this person before was blocking any conversation about commitment, Uh, whatever they had going on before, they're they're kind of gaining control of their life. They're they're gaining control of it. Okay, this may be friends that are like a, a bad influence, right? You know, and this person is stepping up to the plate, taking control of their life, standing their ground, and saying, "Listen, I don't want to do this anymore. I'm going to choose to go work on myself and what's best for me." So this person is trying to overcome and push away the negativity, making that decision for the better. And as you could see, Eight of Pentacles, Eight of Pentacles. Tell me about the Knight of Cups and the Queen of Cups. There you are again, Cancer. So they're coming towards you, Three of Swords and the Seven of Cups. This person cheated on you with multiple people or this person cheated on you multiple times. This person manipulated. This person knows that they hurt you. Three of Pentacles and the Nine of Pentacles, Virgo energy, pre-Empress energy. This person, I feel ultimately with the Justice card, Libra energy is not just coming in to do right by you. They're humbling themselves, I'm feeling, and saying, listen, the Devil card and the High Priestess, Cancer, Piscean energy. So the the High Priestess is going to trump the Devil there, you know what I'm saying? So this person knows, Cancer, that you are a healer. You know, some of you may actually be a healer or a tarot reader or very spiritual type of person. They feel that in you. They feel the higher vibration in you, Cancer. And this person knows that the only person that can exercise them of their demons is you. And that is going to be the title of this video. <laughs> the, I mean, the, the only person that could really exercise them and rid them of their demons is you. Cancer, Piscean energy, Virgo energy. 
Six of Pentacles and the Wheel of Fortune. Ace of Wands and the King of Cups. Leo, uh, excuse me, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces energy. So we have the true pair on the board here. So I feel like what's happening here is, guys, this wheel is turning for this person. I feel like this person has never given to a connection before. Remember, we said that, right? But in this connection, they met you and there was a strong soul tie here. You know, divinely guided soulmate with the Wheel of Fortune, King, Queen of Cups, a true pair. And I feel like this person went off to go, you know, have another love affair, did what they always do, okay? Not that they wanted to hurt you specifically as a person. That's just this person's MO, right? They just see something something shiny and they got to go touch it and that's it you know so this person didn't think anything of it cancer they did not think anything of it they just went you know they broke your heart they did whatever but something went wrong here <coughs> ten of swords and the magician virgo gemini energy page of cups and the king of pentacles capricorn taurus virgo energy I feel with the Nine of Swords and the Wheel of Fortune there, when they walked away from you, Cancer, I feel like they started to realize they had feelings because the King of Cups feels, okay? The King of Cups feels. So um, I feel that this person, it's very different for them because they come from a place of lust. This is a very lustful person. This person only likes like one night stands. If they're dating you, I mean, it's a very separate kind of dating where they just kind of swing by Netflix and chill and I'm out, you know what I'm saying? It's not, you know, this person doesn't ever like the closeness. And I feel that what's happening is um, they have manifested... They've manifested this. They've met because now they're in love with somebody that they hurt that doesn't want to take them back. So you see, this person broke a lot of hearts. Okay, they broke a lot of hearts. Now what's happening here is is they're in love with you and they have broken your heart and you don't want anything to do with them. Just like they didn't want anything to do with the people that love them. Do you understand? For different reasons, you know, this person, this King of Cups didn't want to love these multiple options because, you know, they were just options and, you know, you don't want to like give this person the time of day because they hurt you, you know, um, but I feel, I feel that what we have here is this person coming in with an apology. This person, I think, is starting to realize that you're the one, you know, they're starting to wake up to the fact that you're the one temperance and the eight of cups, King of Pentacles. And the King of Swords, Aquarius, <clears throat> Aquarius, Gemini, Libra energy. So I feel cancer. It's when you truly walked away. It's when you truly walked away, when you truly, you know, realize that there's nothing here for you, when you truly realize that, you know, that you're never going to get what you want here and you walked away. That's when this person said, you know what? I need to speak my truth here. I need to speak my truth here. And the truth is, I really do want to commit to you. I really do want to give this a chance. I never thought I would say that, but I actually do. I actually do want to take a leap of faith. For the first time ever, I actually do want to put in the hard work. Tell me about the Fool and the Six of Wands. The Wheel of Fortune. And the Three of Wands. I feel like Cancer, if there's anyone that's going to get this person to change their ways with the Seven of Swords energy, it's you. I'm telling you, if, there, if there's anyone that's going to exercise this person's demons, it's you. Because you make this person feel good. You make them feel proud of themselves. There's something that you do, like you speak life to this person and it's uplifting for them. And I feel like they yearn for that. They yearn for that. And when they're not around, I, I feel like this person sees you as a blessing. They see you as, you know, something that's like very good, very, it's like divinely scented and the, scented. Listen to me. It, they see you as something that was divinely sent to them. And, you know, they're kind of looking at this like, you know, this is it. This is what I've been praying for. This is what I've been manifesting. This is what I've been waiting for my whole life. I have to do this. I have to take this leap of of faith. I have to take this risk. Eight of Pentacles and the Ten of Swords, the Ten of Wands, and the Devil, Capricorn Energy. This person has a shit ton of work to do, Cancer, because they hurt you. Okay, you got 20 swords in your back. 20 swords in your back. This person stomped on you 
with this devil energy here, they stomped on you until you could not take any more. Okay, this put you, person put you through hell and back. Tell me about the star card. And the tower, Aries, Scorpionic energy, the five of cups, and the hierophant, Taurus energy. So look at this, Cancer. This was divinely guided for this connection to fall. And I'm sorry that you to for you to hear that, okay? But everything, you know, when they say everything happens for a reason, well, everything happens for a reason. So, you know, I feel like this connection honestly was divinely guided to fall. Because what's gonna happen here, this person is gonna have so much pain, so much sorrow, so much regret for what they did to you, it's actually going to bring them to high priest level, okay, to the hierophant level, Taurus energy. And you see now we've got the high priest to the high priest excuse me, we have the high priestess to the hierophant. So this person's vibration is raising to your level. So we've got this person in devil mode, okay, in devil mode, and you are raising their vibration to a higher level. And I feel that it's because you speak life to them, because you love them in a way that makes them feel like they are worthy to love themselves. Queen of Cups and the world. The Knight of Wands. And the Nine of Cups. The Eight of Cups. And the Four of Wands. The Three of Wands. And the Seven of Swords. So I feel here, Cancer, that you've had enough. With that World card, enough is enough. Now, the World card doesn't always represent an actual ending. It just rep represents that a cycle is over. You know, that, that you're not putting up with this anymore. This Knight of Wands, uh, Nine of Cups energy, this, this energy of you get everything you want and I get nothing is not cool anymore, okay? This energy of, you know, I want, I, I have to be stable, I have to be loyal, I have to take care of everything, and then I get no emotional fulfillment. I'm done. This is not cool anymore. This energy of I don't get what I want, I'm happy, but meanwhile you're over there looking at everybody, uh, like, at every piece of butt out there, you know what I'm saying? Like, it's just not okay that you're out there looking for other people while I'm sitting here alone, you know, no more, no more. Yes, yeah, this person needs to wake up and see your worth. Leo energy. Tell me about the strength card. And look, we've got the we've got the seven of swords, the seven of swords, the devil, and the devil. This person is coming from a very toxic place. The strength card and the queen of swords. Cancer, this would require you to have a lot of courage and it would it would require you to be very strong. Seven of swords and the justice card. Libra energy. This person does want to come in and do the right thing. Look at what just came out here. I, the way these fell. Okay, look at the way these fell. We've got the five of pentacles and the... Oh, you can't see. The five... You still can't see. Okay, hold on. Let me turn it this way. All right. Five of pentacles and the five of cups. This person feels abandoned. They feel left out in the cold. They feel like... They're, they're starting to understand what heartbreak really is. They're starting to see that they're hurting without you. And here we have an X... Yeah, this person is coming in. They're coming in. They're really wanting to work on this. And with that Queen of Wands energy, they want to have a conversation with you. And they're coming in very confidently, I'm feeling. This person wants to change. Now, guys, it doesn't mean that the, it doesn't necessarily mean that this person was cheating with another person. This could be that this person has a heroin habit or a cocaine habit or a drug habit or a drinking habit. And this person has hurt you a lot because of this habit right? And now they're coming to you saying, listen, can you help me? You know, and this is something that you would have to be strong with. Okay, this is something that you would have to be really strong with. This person, you know, with the justice card, they may even be going to jail or prison for the things that they have done. And someone's asking you to stand by their side. You know, do you have the strength here to stand by my side after everything I've done to you? Um, you know, or it could be sexual. I don't know. You know, I don't know. But this person really puts you through a lot. And now they're coming in asking you for help. Because the only one that can help this person is you. And they know that. For, for whatever reason, the only person that can help this person is you. So we have the healing light. I'm telling you, this person sees you as like this healing angel. They want some, they're in such a dark place. They want some of that light, Cancer. Blossoming abundance. Yeah, they see you as just like, you, they feel very good in your energy. You know, the Bible says, 
where there is light, there cannot be darkness, right? So Cancer, wherever you are in this person's life, it's like the, the darkness just goes away for them. They get drawn towards more positive, you know, things. Past life relationship, you have known each other before. So this could either be an ex or it could be a past life soulmate. We have open relationship. Open relationships are not for everyone. It requires a lot of honesty and trust for it to work. Careful not to get hurt. Yeah, you see, Cancer, this person has never committed to anybody in their life. They are used to doing whatever they want to do whenever they want to do it. We've got manic love. This will be a deep and intense love that could trigger possessive behavior and make you act out of character. So what's going to happen here, Cancer, is this person is very used to open relationships. This person is used to not being attached, having, you know, meaningless sex or whatever and you know it being okay but this person fell in love with you and because they're not used to the feeling it's it's making them like a little crazy here you know that 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 devil card could also represent you know a little bit of obsession overthinking you know not wanting to let you go um and knowing that the only way to keep you is to change and to heal themselves and to get better and to raise themselves spiritually you understand because this person is crazy about you cancer this person is absolutely crazy about you, okay? Um, you know, so let's take this into the extended. Let's see, you know, what this person's true feelings and intentions are. Are they really going to change for the better? Um, let's see what will happen if you reconcile with this person. Are you going to be happy? You know, if you guys commit, do we see, like, you know, a happily ever after here or what? And we will pull some oracle to see, um, you know, what your person has to say and, and to get some advice. The link for the extended will be in the description box below and in the comment section below. I love you guys. Bye.